Shalom on the Sabbath day. Welcome to the Philadelphia Assembly. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Today is the 17th day of the sixth month, the month of Elul, the year 5783 on the set apart calendar. Now we know that there's, I, I, weirdly to me, okay, today people are keeping trumpets. Not weirdly that they're keeping trumpets. I'm not trying to say that. I'm trying to say that both the people that go by the crescent and by the conjunction or the dark of the moon are celebrating trumpets today. And I'm not sure how that calculation is working, which way or the other, and it really doesn't matter. In two weeks, we'll be keeping the Feast of Trumpets, or Yom Terim, which is literally means the, the day of shouting, okay? So we're going to be keeping that two weeks from today because we go by the full moon as the new moon. We also uh, are going to be coming out with one of the most significant videos, as, uh, uh, in my opinion, okay, that we are going to be doing, and it's called The Signs in the Heavens. So be keeping an eye open on YouTube and on Facebook for the signs of the heavens, okay? Because we're going to go into some deep details about why we keep the full moon instead of the crescent, the sliver, or even the what's so-called Enoch calendar, okay? Why we do what we do. Again, we're not condemning anyone that goes by a different calendar. You've got to keep this by face. Faith. By faith yeah. If there wouldn't be so many different opinions on this if it was concrete or absolute, like some people like to say. And obviously, we're not going to be, it's not a salvational issue to keep the feast at different times. Okay? We just need to be fully convinced in our own hearts and minds of how we keep the feast. Okay? And then, like us, if someone else is keeping it by a different calendar, we don't have a problem of go visiting with them and keeping, the, you mm -hmm. know, certain days of the feast with them as well. So again, we're not condemning anyone else's understanding. We're just we're going to break it down and show you why we do what we do. We also have some announcements of things to come, some signs in the heavens, according to the way we see the feast. Okay, so be on the lookout for signs in the heavens. Today is also the 16th day of September 2023 on the Gregorian calendar. And it's also the seventh day Sabbath by according to the weekly cycle. And again, we know the words Sunday and Saturday, Thursday, Monday, all those are pagan terms. But that has nothing to do with the weekly cycle that has continued since recorded history. So as far back as you could tell, they've been doing this. They changed the number of days on the of the month they've changed the number of days in a year when they went between you know the roman calendar the gregorian calendar things like that but as far as in recorded history they've never changed that weekly cycle uh, as we see it you know the first day of the week being called sunday now in the on the english calendar and saturday be called the sabbath so that's where we are on the dating okay and also again uh, we're going to continue in our teaching in the Wisdom of Solomon, Part 4. We're going to pick it up in Chapter 10. But first, we're going to stand and face Jerusalem, the place where Yahuwah chose to place his name there, and we're going to open in prayer. All right. Almighty Father Yahuwah, again, we thank you for the breath of life, for the opportunity to to live another day, Father, to seek your face. Also, Father, we, we thank you for uh, the knowledge of our Messiah, Yahushua, and the, the, our, you sending him in the flesh, okay, to the world to be a witness and to be, uh, become the, the husband to the bride that's promised in the wedding supper. And for all those things that we understand through your word, Father, to be true, we praise you and, and, and lift you up for all those things. And for you, Father, that created all things that have been created, 
both on the earth and in the heavens are the Shamayim. We thank you and praise you. We ask, Father, that you would heal the sick and, and, and give the peace that passes all understanding through your Ruach or your spirit to those that have lost loved ones. And again, we ask that you open hearts and minds to your truth, Father, let, and help us as we teach this today through your spirit, your Ruach, Father, be your words and not ours. Father, help us to rightly divide this wisdom of Solomon. And again, open hearts and minds to these things that are being opened. Father, we ask, again, we thank you and praise you. And we ask that to all those that are keeping the day of trumpets today, the, the Yom Terim, the day of shouting, that they rejoice, Father, because we know the king is represented. He's at the door at this time, whether it be this week or in two weeks. He's in the field in the month of Elul, but now he's at the door, and it's time to shout and praise him that he's coming, and th this time is at hand, Father. And this played out yearly in your feast, and that we could better understand those things. Father, again, we ask that you would anoint us with an extra anointing of your Ruach, your Holy Spirit of promise. And again, teach us all things in Yahushua's mighty name, and also Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and jump in here on part 4, chapter 10, verse 1. Go ahead, brother. Chapter when you're 10 ready. of Proverbs. Yes, sir. The proverb, verse 1, Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. We got to remember the word Proverbs is, comes in the Hebrew, so it's H4912. Okay, that's the Strong's Concordance number for Proverbs. And it, and it means wisdom, okay? And, wi and it even describes as wisdom in sentences. We know that the, all of these things are the wisdom of Solomon. We also know that... Um, he speaks to us in parables, idioms, types, and that also is included in that word uh, Proverbs. Go ahead, brother. Verse 2, treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth, delivereth from death. So whatever kind of thing we get, okay, that we do through deception, okay, and not by the truth, which is his Torah, okay, it profits, it's going to profit us nothing. You can pile up all the treasure in the earth when you die. That's not going to mean a thing. Go ahead, brother. Yahuwah will not suffer or allow the life of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. Now, does that mean that the wicked can't prosper? No. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. Okay, so in this life, the wicked do prosper. Okay. But when it comes to that great white throne judgment, when evil is done away with, the sustenance of those people or what they piled up not going to make any difference for them. They're going to be starving, but the righteous will never starve for this wisdom. Go ahead, brother. For he becomes poor that dealeth with a slack or a ne ne negligent, negligent ne right. hand, mm -hmm. but the hand of the diligent make rich. I and mean, we know that's true in the physical and in the spiritual, isn't it? Mm -hmm. if, if you're diligent to go out and work and not be slack or slothful, okay, mm -hmm. you're going to prosper, whether it be on this earth with, with earthly wealth or whether it's with, we're doing this with the Proverbs or the wisdom or the Torah, we're all going to profit if we're diligent and not slack. Go ahead, brother. Five, he that gathereth in summer is a wise son. But he that sleep, sleepeth in the harvest is a son that causes shame. Yeah, and you know, you, we need to understand these things. Yeah, it's true in the flesh, and this mm -hmm. is good advice. But see, what are we supposed to be doing right now? Our Messiah, before he ascended, he said, go throughout all the world, gathering all these people. We're supposed to be gathering. That's a, a harvest, okay? And we're preparing for that first harvest, that first resurrection, right now so if we're not doing what we've been commanded to do by our hamashiach our messiah 
then we're not gathering, but really we're probably scattering, okay? So he says, he that gathers in the summer. Right now, this is the summer. This is the season to prepare for the harvest, okay? Is a wise son. And Solomon was son of David, okay? In a, in a like manner of Messiah being son of David. But he was the son of the Most High because he kept his commandments and he was, one of, he was the most wise man that ever lived. But he that sleepeth during the harvest is not doing what we've been commanded to do, okay? He is a, a son that causes shame to our heavenly father, Yahuwah, and our Hamashiach, our, the, the husband, that we are to be the bride. We're going to see that as we go through these things. Go ahead, brother. Verse 6, blessings are upon the head of the just, but the violence covered the mouth of the wicked. See, no matter what people say, it doesn't matter. It's what they do. And if someone's wicked, you're going to see it in their actions. We're, we're to kind of be fruit inspectors. Go ahead, brother. Verse 7, the memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot or okay. decay. So what's he talking about with that? That sounds pretty mm. harsh. But he says the memory. Now, the memory means that when we come into the kingdom, he's going to remember us. And we're going to have a spirit being and we're going to go on. That's this type here, okay? But the name of the wicked will rot or decay and vanish away. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8, the wise in heart will receive commandments, but a, a prating fool shall fall, a but babbling. A, a babbling fool. So the wise of the heart will receive commandments or instruction or, con, or correction or uh, chastisement. Remember, the mm. ones that he chastises or corrects, that's the ones he loves. Go ahead, and if you reject the commandments, you reject, you're rejecting Yahuwah. Go ahead, brother. Nine, he that walks uprightly walks surely or securely. Yes, sir. But he that perverteth his ways shall be known. Yes, sir, you know them by their fruits. Go ahead. Verse 10, he that winketh with, it, with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. Okay, he that winks with his eye causes sorrow. Did you ever have somebody tell you something, mm. and they'll be looking at one person, they'll turn around and wink, wink at the other? He's telling you ain't going to do what he says. Go ahead, brother. Verse 11, the mouth of, of a righteous man is a well of life. Hallelujah. But the violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Okay, and you know, violence doesn't have to always be somebody, you know, delivering physical force. You can be violent with your words. Go ahead, brother. Twelve, hatred stirs up strikes, but love covers all sins. And that, isn't that so true? And you know, and when we argue and fight over doctrine and condemn mm -hmm. one another, that's what this is talking about, because a Hatred stirs up strife. And if you hate someone else's doctrine, that's going to stir up strife. But love for one another covers all sins. Go ahead. 13. In the lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found. Hallelujah. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Yeah, and, and if, you, if you're rebellious, you're going to receive that rod of correction even from the powers that be mm -hmm. that Yahuwah has placed upon the earth. So you got to make sure you get what's being said. Go ahead. Verse 14, why, wise men, they got men here added. Yes, sir. But so why the wise lay up or store up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. You know, and what destruction is he talking about? He's talking about that second death at the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Even though we don't know how many more years that's going to be, it's, it's near, guys. It's coming. So your days of your life are short. So wise people or the wise lay up knowledge. Okay, what's knowledge? His Torah, his right rulings. And that's the thing that is better than gold, better than silver. Go ahead, brother. 15, the rich man's wealth is his strong city. Hell, hallelujah. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Okay, so thinking about what he's saying here. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. And that's talking about wherever his stronghold is, okay, where he's got his power. And it says the his, the, the, the rich man's destruction of the poor is his is his or the those poor's poverty. Because what does Yahuwah tell us about taking care of the poor? 
and making sure you don't oppress them. That's what this is talking about. The rich man's wealth is what he holds his power in, but the destruction of the poor is his poverty. Because in the end, all that stuff ain't going to mean nothing that he's got now. Go ahead, brother. 16. The labor of the righteous ten, tends to life. The fruit of the wicked to sin. A amen. He is in the way of life that keeps instruction, but he that refuses reproof errors. Now, here's what it all comes down to, and that's what this is all talking about. He said, he that is in the way of life. He, you know, he's promised us in Deuteronomy and mm -hmm. Exodus and everywhere else that if we would keep his commandments, we would live. Amen. And if we refused his restruction, that his instructions, his right rulings, we would die. Okay? So he says, but he that refuses correction is what? In error. Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead, brother. 18. He that hides hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. So the guy that, you know, he, he, he smiles in your face. Remember that song, Backstabbers? That's exactly what this is talking about. He, he talks to you with kind words, but all the time he's trying to throw stumbling blocks to cause you to fall. Go ahead, brother. 19, verse 19. In a multitude of words, there want there wanteth not sin, but yep. he that refraineth his lips is wise. So in other words, no matter, you know, you can't, Messiah at, at one point in the Gospels said that, you know, they, they use many words, okay, so that they, they might appear to be righteous. That's just what he's mm -hmm. talking about here. He said in a multitude of words, there, there does not lack sin, okay? You can't cover it up with words. But he that keeps silent or refrains his lips is what wise. Remember in Ecclesiastes, he says there's a time to speak and there's a time to be silent. Go ahead, brother. 20, the tongue of the just is as cho choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. Yep, so again, that's those finer riches he's talking about because the, the tongue of the just, those that keep his commandments, is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little is worth nothing, really, of little worth. Go ahead. 21. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. knowledge. Okay, saying the same thing. Because the lips of the righteous feed many, if they're telling them the truth in the Torah and all his commandments, every word that proceeded from Yahuwah's mouth. See, but the fools die for want or lack of understanding or wisdom. Go ahead. For, uh, 22, the blessings of the Lord, in this case it's Elohim, it makes rich and he added no sorrow with it. And he's, and he's coming that, he's getting that from the Septuagint or LXX, mm -hmm. that being there. In the Hebrew it says Yahuwah, but we know Yahuwah is our only mighty one. Go ahead, brother. Yep, 23. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding had wisdom. Yep. So what's he talking about here? This new, we were talking about that earlier. You know, when, we, when you're talking about sport, you know, why do we do sports? Okay, we do sports because it's enjoyable. It's competition. Okay, remember that in there. So right. It is as a pleasure or a competition to a fool to do mischief. He enjoys it. It's he enjoys a it. joke or a laughing style. Yes, sir. He's laughing at everybody else. Mm -hmm. But a man of understanding has wisdom, Amen. which is the Ruach that teaches us all things. Go ahead, brother. 24, the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. So the fear or the dread of the wicked, mm -hmm. it will come upon him. So whatever he thinks of that he's afraid of, it's going to come, okay? But the desire of the righteous will be granted. Whatever we ask the Most High in prayer and believe that we're going to receive it, it will be granted. Same thing. Go ahead, brother. 25. As the whirlwind passes, so is the wicked no more. So your life's like a whirlwind. This uh -huh. is not much different what we hear the Apostle Paul or Shaul talking about. Life is but a vapor, okay? So it's as a whirlwind that passes by, so is the wicked man, what? No more. Okay, more is added. But the yeah. righteous is an everlasting foundation. Because the Torah is our foundation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. 26, as vinegar to the teeth, 
and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that sent him. Remember it said it, how the grape or that set the uh, people's tongues mm -hmm. on edge or teeth on edge. So it's, listen to that, saying the same thing because vinegar mm -hmm. is made by grapes. It says, as vinegar to the teeth, cause them to go on edge. And as smoke to the eyes, we know what that does to our eyes. It makes us tear up and we can't do whatever it is we need to do. So is the slothful man to them that send him. Go ahead, brother. 27, the fear of Elohim adds days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Yes, sir. Go ahead. 28, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. So this word expectation. That long for. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what, we, what, what you long for, whatever it is mm -hmm. that you have hope in. So he says, but the hope of the righteous, or the expectation, shall be gladness because we're going to get returned with everlasting life that's our hope and if that's not your hope if it's riches or gold or any of those things, things like that of the world no. then, then, then you're in the second category here he says so the fear of yahuwah and that's to keep his commandments adds to our days but the years of the wicked shall be what shortened now that's not necessarily in the physical because a lot of wicked people live to be very old, but they're going to be shortened in the great white throne judgment and ours will be eternal. Go ahead, brother. Verse 29, the way of, of Elohim is, is strength to the upright, but the, the destruction shall be to the workers of lawlessness. So look how many times we talk about destruction here and not eternal punishment. Okay, it says the way of Yahuwah is what? Strength to those that are upright. And you mm -hmm. can only be upright if you're living according to Yahuwah's commandments and he's your fear. Okay, Shall, but then it says, but destruction, not eternal uh, persecution, but destruction shall be to the workers of lawlessness. Go ahead, brother. Verse 30, the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. No one's he talking about? You're talking about in the great in the new heaven and new earth. It says in Revelation chapter 22 that that there'll be no more evil. Mm -mm. Okay, so the righteous shall never be removed ever, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. Remember, it says the meek shall inherit the earth. Go ahead, brother. 31. The mouth of the just bring forth wisdom, but the perverted tongue shall be cut out. Cut out, and, and, and that's what it's talking. Be silenced. That's why they're using that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's if you want to silence a human being from ever speaking, you cut out his tongue. And if they, they're going to cut out their, cut them out from all the earth and be cast into the lake of fire. Go ahead. Verse brother. thirty-two: The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. Yep. But the mouth of the wicked speaks frowardness or perversion. Yep, so the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, and that's what's commanded or told us not to do or to not do according to his right rulings. Go ahead, brother. Okay, chapter 11. A false balance is an abomination to the mighty one, but as a just weight is his delight. So, you know, that's true when we're doing business, but that's just true in life. If, if you desire to do the right thing, that's what Yahuwah, you know, that's what he loves, okay? But if you have a, a, an, an unjust balance, then he hates that. It's an abomination mm -hmm. to him. Go ahead, brother. And I just want to mention too, in the Septuagint where it says, but a just weight is his delight or is acceptable. Amen. Which, which I thought was a better translation. It, it is because mm -hmm. we need to know his Torah is just what is expected. Mm -hmm. You know, righteousness comes because we want to do that not because we do that. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 2, when pride comes, then comes shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Yes, they shall. The integrity of the upright. Mm -hmm. That's because that's your heart wanting to do what Yahuwah says, that's your integrity shall guide them. And if you're guided by the Torah, then you're showing your integrity. But the perverseness of a transgressor, someone that breaks those right rulings, will be what? Shall destroy them. Okay, go ahead, brother. Verse 4, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, 
but the righteousness delivers from death. Now, riches won't proper us in the day of wrath. You know, we're talking about this great white throne judgment when the Father returns and the earth would run away, Revelation chapter 20, if there was some place found for it to go, okay? But so riches profit nothing in that day, no matter how much you amassed, how much control you had here on earth, but righteousness delivers from death, saves us forever eternal life. Go ahead. Verse 5, the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, Hallelujah. But, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. And you know what that is? That's your flesh, the mm -hmm. desires of the flesh. Go ahead. 6, verse 6, he, the righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness or wickedness. Or rebellion. Another rebellion. good word. Yep. yep. 7, verse 7, when a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of the unjust man perish. So again, we need to understand this word expectation both times mm -hmm. could have been translated that way. Okay, so when a wicked man dies, his hope shall perish. It's gone. Whatever he was he desired and hoped for, it's gone. And the hope of the, of the unjust man does what? Perish. Perish. Go ahead, bro. Verse 8, the righteous is delivered out of out of trouble, and the wicked come cometh in his place. Yep, so it, that's what comes in the place mm -hmm. of it. It says the righteous delivered out of trouble because we keep his commandments, and the wicked comes and the wicked comes in place or instead of it. Go ahead. Verse 9. And hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. So now we're starting to talk about gossip and things of that nature. So if you gossip, you're what? A hypocrite by the words here. And that means an actor, somebody that's mm -hmm. acting like they're Pretenders, righteous and yeah. they're not. And destroy, what does he do? He destroys his neighbor. Those stumbling blocks, all those things. But through knowledge, truth, which is truth, the mm -hmm. Torah, shall the just be delivered. Go ahead, brother. Verse 10, when it, go, when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. Amen. And, and, and we need to understand that these feasts play out all these things before our eyes. Mm -hmm. So we got the day of shouting, which yes. is the day of trumpets. And we know that the king is at the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're shouting because they know the day of wrath is coming or judgment. And wickedness is going to be taken out of the earth. And that's what this is yes, laying sir. out before us year after year. Go ahead. Verse brother. 11, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted or lifted up. Yep. But it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. Yes. He, verse 12, he that is a void or lacks of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. Or in other words, keeps his mouth shut. Go ahead, brother. 13, a, a tale bearer reveals secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit conceals the matter. In other words, you know, somebody might have told you something in, con in confidence, and you just go broadcast that oh, on the whole Lord. place. Go, right. you, why are you doing that? Because you're trying to take down the just man. That's showing your wicked heart. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14, there is no guidance. Where, where it, no guidance is, there we go, the people fall. But in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. Now, this is true, but if you've got unjust counselors, that's not true, is it? Mm -hmm. What this really talking about is the Torah. Okay, and you need to understand that. He said, where, where no counselor is, the people fall. Why do you think the overall people that call themselves the church or the congregation are falling now? It's because they've gotten rid of the counselor. Okay? The Torah, his right rulings, okay? But he, well, but I'll make sure I'm reading it. But in a multitude of counselors. counselors or right rulings, there is safety. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah guidance. Guidance through that guidance. word. Yes, sir. 15, he that, he, he that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it. And he that hateth surety ship is sure. This is one of them times when this middle English <laughs> yeah. can be confusing to a lot of people. Not everybody. Some people get it, okay? Because yeah, okay. they looked it up, okay? But he says, He that is a guarantee for a stranger 
shall suffer for it. See, so if you go out and try to protect a stranger, you're going to get punished or suffer because you did that. Mm -hmm. And he that despises guarantee, this type of guarantee, is safe. safe. Okay, go ahead, brother. 16, a gracious woman retains honor and strong men, that's italicized, retain riches. Now, let's, we're going to set up mm -hmm. precedence here with what we're going to read as we continue. You want to be this gracious woman. Now, we, we're men and they're women and all that, but you ought to remember that the church or the congregation, even Israel, was considered the woman. Okay? And if you want to be the gracious woman, you're going to retain honor. You want to be without spot and without blemish on the day of judgment. Okay? And, the, and strong men retain riches right now on the earth. Strong men hold on to the riches. Go ahead, brother. Verse 17. The merciful man do good to his own life, but he that is cruel or terrible troubles his own flesh. Well, and you do. You don't realize it, but the reward for that is going to mm -hmm. be death or second death or destruction. Go ahead, brother. Verse 18. The wicked works a deceitful work, but to him that, that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. A guaranteed reward of eternal life. Go ahead, brother. Verse 19, as righteousness tends to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. Yeah, and we're all going to die in the flesh, whether we, we're living, to striving to be righteous or not, but that mm -hmm. not all going to suffer that second death. Go ahead, brother. 20, they that are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the mighty one. But such as upright in their in their way are his delight. Do we want to be his delight? Do we want to be we a crown? Be acceptable. Yeah. Yep. Do we want to be a crown on the Messiah's head in the new in the millennium? Okay, we're going to talk about that as we continue. Go ahead, brother. Twenty one. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed or the descendants of the righteous shall be delivered. Now that, that is so important to get this. He says, though through uh, though hand joined in hand. We know the rich and powerful are like that right now, and they always have been, and they always will be until our Messiah returns. They're, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Don't matter how you might look at it now, why do the unrighteous, uh, you know, get, get gain and power and all that's one of the questions in Ecclesiastes. It's because the rain falls on the just and the undust. But remember, they shall not go unpunished. But the descendants of the righteous shall be delivered. Because if you raise your kids up and you were righteous, they're going to see that and they're going to emulate that. Go ahead, brother. 22. As a jewel, jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. Now, again, they're, talk, they're, they're, they're talking about the whole of humanity here mm -hmm. when they're talking about the woman. This is the opposite of that gracious woman we just looked at. Right. Okay, so as a jewel of gold in the swine's snout. No, you, you know, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. That's what this is talking about, same type of terminology. I, I remember I was a kid, they talked about a diamond in a goat's backside. I'm not going to say the words. It, it, it ain't going to change nothing, guys. So as a jewel of gold in a swine's nose, so is an attractive woman using that analogy, mm -hmm. that Hebrew idiom, which is without discretion. Because if we use good discretion and go by his Torah, we're going to be that gracious or that righteous woman, and you're going to see we're going to be a crown on our Messiah, the Hamashiach's head. Go ahead, brother. Verse 23, the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. It's going to end up in wrath. You know, your uh -huh. hope, your desire is going to end up in the wrath of Yahuwah at the white throne judgment. Go ahead. Okay, uh, 24, there is that scattereth and yet increaseth, and there is that withholdeth more that than more than is meat or justly do. Right. But it tendeth to poverty. See, and that's how greed works and, and, that, and that wicked heart. It says there is that that scatters. Okay? So either you're gathering the sheep towards the 
resurrection and eternal life or you're scattering them. So those are those that gather and those that scatter. There's a time to scatter. There's a time to gather up and yet increase here on earth. The rich do possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is that withholds and what's the rich man does? He does. He withholds what is due to the poor. Okay. More than is what? Justly do. See, mm -hmm. just because you're you're getting them to to do your bidding for next to nothing for starvation doesn't mean it's good, okay? But it tends to what poverty in the end, because all this thing gonna all this increase that we get here on word, earth, especially ill-gotten gains, is not going to last. That's going to be your your hope. Go ahead. Twenty-five. The liberal soul shall be made fat. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that, our Messiah said, he that scatters liberally shall reap literally, liberally, Generous, yeah. generously. And he that does it the opposite, sparingly, shall receive sparingly. Just a different parable or Hebrew idiom. He's using the same thing. So a generous life or a generous yeah. person will be made fat when? Rich in the kingdom to come. Yep. And he that waters shall be watered also himself. Okay, go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. 26, he that withholdeth corn or grain, the people shall curse him. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Okay, so think about what he's talking about here. This is much deeper and this English is kind of thick. So he that withholds the food from the poor, mm -hmm or the people, those people will what? Curse him. You see it all the time. It's going on constantly. Oh, They're okay. cursing the rich man. Why? Because he's holding back that fair share that he's supposed to give them. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that sells what he has, everything he has, and gives to the poor. We can read that through Messiah. We can read that through the book of Acts. Go ahead, brother. 27. He that diligently seeks good Procure it favor. So he that does good for the right reasons is going to receive favor or grace from the mm -hmm. Most High. Go ahead, brother. But he that seeks mischief, it shall come unto him. We've seen this said mm -hmm. three or four different times in different ways. Go ahead. 28. He that trusteth in riches, riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. And this is all in the kingdom to come. Here on earth, it's going to be just like it is because that mystery Babylon and that's that desire to gain and pile riches upon mm -hmm. riches is going to prevail until the Messiah returns. But righteousness shall flourish as a branch. We know our Messiah is described as a branch. Joseph or Yosef was described as a ranch, a vine and a branch that went over the wall. Go ahead, brother. 29. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and a fool shall be a servant to the wise of heart. Now think about this. Talk about the kingdom to come again. You got to keep focused on that. He that troubles his own family, okay, will inherit the wind. Nothing. Nothing. Your life's like a wind or a vapor, Paul said, or Shaul, okay, and it's passing away. And that means you ain't going to inherit nothing, okay, in the kingdom to come. And the fool will be servant to the wise. And that's going to be happening during the millennium. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Yes, sir. And he that wins, winneth souls is wise. Okay, so how do you do that? Messiah told us we're to be fruit inspectors. So you're watching how somebody acts. And if they don't act according to his commandments, his right rulings, then don't have nothing to do with them. Okay. Go ahead, brother. 31. Behold, the righteous shall be re recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. So, and this is ultimately, it says, but the righteous will be rewarded in the earth. Remember, the meek shall inherit the earth. Again, from the Beatitudes, much more, really completely more, because they're not going to inherit than the wicked and the sinner aren't going to inherit anything. Go ahead, brother. Uh, chapter 12. Now we're in Proverbs chapter 12. Those are following on the, on the line. Mm -hmm. Okay, chapter 12 of verse 1. 
whoso loves instruction loves knowledge, but he that hates correction is brutish or stupid. stupid. Think about what that just said. He that loveth instruction. We know that he, all his commandments, right rulings, are his instructions. That's what it means. Okay, That's what Torah means ultimately, mm -hmm. is the instructions. Love is what? Knowledge, because that's true knowledge. Okay, But he that hates correction is what? Stupid. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 2, a good man obtains favor of Yahuwah, or the mighty one, for, but a man of wicked plans. Will he condemn? Yep. So think about that again. A good man obtains favor or grace. Because mm -hmm. none of us are without sin and fall short of the mark. But a good man, that means someone that does those things with the right heart or attitude, obtains what? Favor or grace from Yahuwah. But the wicked man plans will be condemned okay at the day of judgment go ahead verse 3 a man shall not be established by wickedness but the root of the righteous shall be uh, shall not, not be, be removed. removed be like that tree planted mm. by the water rivers of water yeah and we will not mm. be moved now a man but a man will not ultimately be established by wickedness but right now you know that's not true people are you know established through wickedness that's how they get rich and powerful but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Go ahead. For a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that make, makes ashamed is a rottenness in his bones. Now, again, we're back to this virtuous or this gracious woman. Now, if we're going to be that woman that gets that, the overall body of our Messiah, our Hamashiach, if we're going to be that, we're going to be this virtuous woman. And what is she? She is a crown to her husband. And that's what that's talking about, ruling and reigning with him for a thousand years. But she that makes ashamed, in other words, comes in his name, whether you, no matter which way you pronounce it, but you, it, you that you come in, she, but she that makes ashamed is a rottenness in his bones. Go ahead, brother. Verse five, the thoughts of the righteous are right but the advice of the wicked are deceit. Yes, sir. And, and sometimes people advise you to do deceitful things. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to those Pay fruits. Attention. Go ahead, brother. Verse six, the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, yep. but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. Yes, sir. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. Now, has it been overthrown yet? No. You can see wickedness out there in the world just everywhere. Okay? But ultimately, the wicked will be overthrown. And what are not? doesn't say an eternal fire. It says are what are not. Okay? But the house of the righteous will stand. The house of the righteous is the new heaven and new earth. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. A man shall be commended according to his wisdom. Hallelujah. But he that is of a perverse heart or mind shall be despised. And you know that. If somebody's got a perverse mind, mm -hmm. people's going to hate them. And it's just natural. Go ahead. Verse 9. He that is despised and hath a servant is better than he that honors himself and lacks bread. So someone that's a follower and a servant and a help to that person, is them to have that is better than he that is honored by himself and he will lack bread or food, and in this case, knowledge. Go ahead, brother. Verse 10, a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, Yes, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So if you see somebody that's wicked and mean to animals, all you know, they just don't, you know, they're not doing what they should mm -hmm. do with them. Think about it. You're, he's showing his fruit. A righteous man regards not or doesn't pay it, doesn't care about the life of his beast. Okay? But the tender mercies of the wicked are even though are cruel. Go ahead, brother. Eleven, he that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. So think about what he's saying. This is just not top surface, though, mm -hmm. okay? He that tills his land. Now, 
if you're when you till your land, you're a farmer. You're going to produce food, and you're going to you're not going to lack bread. But he that tills the word that goes in and keeps turning that over and over and trying to make that more his own character, you're not going to lack understanding either. But he that follows worthless people is what? Without understanding. Go ahead, brother. Well, the wicked desires the trap of evil men, but the root of the righteous yields fruit. And this is this fruit, and that mm -hmm. word fruits added but it doesn't matter it's a good ad right. okay because we're going to get rewarded for doing the right thing so the wicked desires the trap of evil okay so and but the right the, the root of the righteous yields what the fruit of the spirit mm -hmm. go ahead brother 13 the wicked is trapped by the transgression of his lips yep. but the just shall come out of trouble so if somebody tells you something and then they come along days, months, years, it don't matter, and they renege on what they ultimately said. Listen to what that said. The wicked is trapped by the transgressions of his lips. In other words, you said one thing and then you changed it because you had power or control to be able to do that. But the just shall come out of trouble. Go ahead, brother. 14, a man... Shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. Hallelujah. And the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. So if you do what you say and you say what you're going to do, you're going to get rewarded for that. But if you say one thing and you do another, you're not going to get rewarded for that. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. Yes. But he that hearkens unto counsel is wise. Again, the counsel is the right rulings of Torah. And if someone's teaching you those right rulings, they're a good counselor. Go ahead, brother. Verse 16. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man... Uh, covereth shame. So a foolish man is presently known. If you watch somebody and they're foolish, they're going to make it known to you because they're going to do foolish things, the fruit. Okay? But it, notice what it says. But the one, the other one that covers up what he does is a good, that's a hypocrite that he's talking about there. Go ahead, brother. Okay, uh, verse 17. He that speaks truth shows forth righteousness, but a false witness, deceit. Mm-hmm. There is that speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is help. So in other words, if they, even if you use the word of, mm. of Elohim or the word of God, it, it, like a sword against your neighbor, what's that saying? Go ahead, brother. 19, a lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. See, the lip, the person that speaks truth will what? Be established forever. But a lying tongue, someone that says one thing and does another, is but for what? A moment. And it's passing away. Go ahead, brother. Uh, 20. Deceit is in the heart of them that Im imagine evil. Or but plan. But to the, to the counselors of, of peace is joy. So those that are seeking peace, it's going to be joy. And that's all covered in the Beatitudes. Go ahead. Verse 21. There... There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Now, that, does that mean here in the flesh there's no wicked going to ever happen to us? No. Okay? But it's not going to uh, prevail against you. Because in the resurrection, you're going to overcome. Go ahead, brother. 22. Lying lips are an abomination to the mighty one, but they that deal truly are his Delight. So if you tell somebody something and you know in your heart you're like that one that winks that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. So you say something, you turn around to your partner and you wink, okay? And then you don't do it. Listen to what it says. That's lying. Lying lips are what? An abomina abomination to Yahuwah. But they that deal truly, in other words, not only say what that, say it in detail, are his what? Delight. Yahuwah's delight. Go ahead, brother. 23. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. Yep. Concealeth knowledge. In other words, in his heart. Can puts that knowledge in his heart. But the heart of fools, what do they do? They proclaim foolishness. Go ahead. 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. 
Okay, so the hand of those that are diligent or sincere will go along with the rule that's going on, okay? Whatever rule that mm -hmm. is. But the lazy shall be under tribute. Okay, go ahead, brother. 25, heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, mm -hmm. but a good word maketh it glad. That's talking about your mind, will, and emotion, your inner man. It says heaviness in the heart of a man makes you slump, makes your countenance fall on mm -hmm. your face. You could tell somebody like that, okay? But the good word makes it glad, okay? The positive word. Now, again, mm -hmm. Torah is best of that. Go ahead. 26, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Okay, so the one that is righteous, he's going to try to make take care of his neighbor, so he's, that's why it's saying that, but the, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Okay, uh, 27. The slothful man, uh, that's a good choice to have. Roasted. Uh, man is added there. It says, mm -hmm. the slothful roasted not that which he took in hunting, but the substance or possessions of a diligent man is precious. So in other words, slothful you know the lazy man the lazy person mm -hmm. he doesn't cook his own food that which he took in hunting he gets somebody else to do it for him because he's lazy a servant okay but substance or possessions of the diligent man the one that cooked his own food that hunted his own animal okay is what precious to you go ahead 28 Verse 28, in the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. No death. You might suffer a physical death, but you're going to be going for days. One more, bro. Yeah, one more chapter. Then now we're in chapter 13. Proverbs 13. A what, verse 1, a wise son hears his father's instruction, but the scorner or the scoffer or the mocker hears not rebuke or correction. or correction so what's he talking about here yeah it's true with your parents the mm -hmm. same thing if you're a son and you got a physical parent but ultimately your heavenly father is your father so a wise son does what here's his father's instruction which is the torah but a scoffer or a scorner hears not correction see that's what the torah is mm -hmm. it's correction for us go ahead brother two verse two a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the life of the transgressors shall eat violence. So if you speak good things, which is the Torah, it says a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. What If good things come out, you're going to eat good. But if the, the life of the transgressor, so what? Eat violence or reap violence. Reap. And you're going to reap that at the great white throne judgment. Go ahead. Verse 3. He that keeps his mouth keeps his life, but he that open wide his lips shall have destruction. And, and this is so true. And you can tell someone like that because when they, mm -hmm. they, they can't even, they don't think before they speak. They just open wide and throw it out there. And, that, and he that keeps his mouth shut saves his own life. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he that opens wide his lips, he's stepping in his own trap, okay? Come on, shall have life. what? Destruction. Go ahead, brother. The, light, the sword, the life of the sluggard desire, and have nothing, but the life of the diligence shall be made fat or rich. That'll be in the physical realm, uh -huh. and that'll also be in the spiritual realm. If you're seeking and tilling over the Torah, your heart will be made Amen. fat or blessed. You're going to be rich, Yes, blessed. sir. Verse 5, a right, righteous man hates lying, but a wicked man is lost somewhere, dis, or disgusting Despot, yep. and cometh to shame. Yes, sir. And, and you can see a wicked man or someone that, mm -hmm. that that lies. A wicked man is disgusting and what in the end is going to come to shame. We all going to have to answer for even every idle word, okay, at the judgment. So you can see all this in what Solomon's saying. Go ahead, brother. Six, righteousness keeps him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthrow the sinner. And, and, and whether it does in this life or not, it's going to before the next. Go ahead. Seven, there is that, there is that maketh himself rich. Yep. 
yet has nothing. There is, there is that maketh himself poor, yet has great riches. So, I mean, that, that sounds like a bunch of double talk, huh? But really what it's saying is, you, you know, yeah, the guy that gathers all that gold, he might think he's rich and he might be rich now, but he ain't going to be rich in the end. That's actually how he's poor, okay? Yet have great riches. The poor, the, the, the meek, the humble, those are the ones that have great riches, and they're the ones that's going to inherit the earth. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8, the ransom of a man's life are his riches. Hallelujah. But the poor heareth not rebuke. Yep. The, right, the, the light of the righteous rejoices, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. So in, in all that, what he's saying there, it's, you, you can't take it literal. He says the light of the, rich, of the righteous will rejoice, but the lamp of the wicked shall be what? Put out. Okay? Yep. And that's going to be at, at that great white throne judgment. Go ahead, Verse brother. 10, only by pride comes contention, but with the well of eyes is wisdom. Yep. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathered by labor shall increase. Hallelujah. You could see that with Abraham. You uh -huh. could see that with all those that had great riches. Go ahead. Verse 12, hope deferred or delayed or delayed makes the heart sick yes but when the desire comes it is a tree of life you know so a lot of times we're wanting something mm -hmm. we're expecting something and it doesn't happen when we want it if we just have faith and wait on your Patience. but when the desire comes when that prayer is answered mm -hmm. it is a tree of life renews you go ahead brother verse 13 who despise the word shall be destroyed but he that fears the commandment shall be rewarded so when it's talking about the word here it's talking about every word that proceeded from the mouth of yahuwah shall be what destroyed who that ever hated the torah and all his right rulings will be what destroyed not eternally punished but he that fears the commandment shall what be rewarded with eternal life. Go ahead. Okay, 14, the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So the Torah of the wise, the right rulings, the instructions, is a fountain of life to depart from the traps or the lures that bring on death. Go ahead. Okay, 15, good understanding gives favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. So good understanding brings favor or grace in mm -hmm. the time of need, but the way of the transgressor is going to be hard. Go ahead, brother. 16, every prudent man dealeth, dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open or exposes his heart. So again, we talk about the right rulings or the Torah. Mm -hmm. So every one that's prudent, okay, man deals with knowledge. And if we don't deal with the Torah and get in there and dig out the truth, we're going to end up being a fool. But a fool exposes his folly. Go ahead. 17, a wicked messenger falleth into mischief. But a faithful ambassador is help. So, you know, if you bring in bad news, mm. that ain't a good thing. Go ahead, brother. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuse instruction. But he that regards reproof or correction shall be honored. So in life, we know that's not true. That some of the rich that do these things, okay, they, they, re, they, they get held up right now. Okay, it's, but poverty and shame shall be to him that refuses instruction. But he that regards or pays attention to correction shall be honored. Go ahead. 19, the desire accomplished is sweet to the life, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. Yes. In other words, for a fool, mm -hmm. it's an abomination to go <laughs> from evil. So then why would you do that? Why would you cheat yourself in that? Why wouldn't you take advantage of the situation? Mm -hmm. That's what that's talking about. Go ahead. 20, he that walks with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Okay, my, my mom always used to say, birds of a feather flock, flock together. together. Okay, this is the same thing. He that walks with wise men, those that try to keep the Torah the best of their ability, shall what? Be wise, but a companion with fools shall be destroyed again at the white throne judgment. 20, yep. Verse 21, evil pursues the sinners, 
but to the righteous good shall be repaid. And, and it's, that's at the end. That's not guaranteed in this life. Go ahead. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Now, I see a lot of people quoting this in the flesh, okay, in the physical, mm -hmm. and, and, and it's not wrong, okay? A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, or his grandchildren. And the wealth of the sinners is laid up for the just. But the true wealth, again, mm -hmm. is the Torah. And it tells us to train up our children in, in the Torah, that they shall and they shall not, not depart from it. Amen. So here, what the, what the wisdom is coming, a good man leaveth an inheritance to his children. The true inheritance is the word of Elohim and his commandments to his children's children, and wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Okay, go ahead. 23, much food is in the tillage or the fallow ground of the yep. poor, mm -hmm. but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. Again, we got to keep tilling up the word of Elohim because mm -hmm. that's where the two food comes from and the bread. Go ahead. 24, he that spareth his rod hates his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times or diligently. Now, this, you know, that's true that if you don't uh, use the rod on your son, sometimes they need it. But this is talking about using the Torah to correct your children, Amen. not to beat your children. Right. So he that spareth his rod, and that should be the rod of correction, okay, mm -hmm. talking about the Torah, hates his son. Okay, and he'll be a rebel, and they might have to take him out. But he that loveth him chastens him diligently. And because he, he that you love, your son that you love, you chastise. Okay? Same with the father. And how does he do that? With his right rulings. That's his correction. Go ahead, brother. 25. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul or life, but the belly of the wicked shall be lacking. And, it'll, and it might not be in the physical bread, but it will be of the spiritual bread that gives us life everlasting. We hope that Amen. someone got something out of this teaching yes, sir. today. And again, be watching for uh, our video to come out, Signs in the Heavens. There's going to be some things revealed in there that everyone's going to want to hear, whether you agree or not. Okay. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the Philadelphia Assemblies, please, we'd ask that you would do so. Okay. It helps the more people that subscribe and watch the videos, the more people have opportunity to watch the videos. And then if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up on YouTube, okay? Nobody's going to know that it, who's who that gives up a thumbs up, okay? Then if you really like it, share it to your Facebook page, okay? And then make sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified of the next video, okay? And also... We are still looking for donations. Again, we don't expect people to give that can't afford to. But if you can, please give some uh, goodwill gifts, offerings, oblations, because we need to replace the mat and we need to establish our restroom so that we can get our assembly hall open to bring in a congregation. Because we want to, again, we want to gather the sheep. Okay, not all just on the internet, but right here in our own community, because we're supposed to start where we are. Okay, so may Yahuwah bless until we meet again.